Imagine someday in the future, looking into a village in Lesotho, a small country in southern Africa, and looking at children playing in the streets, enjoying their time, living safely and securely. Now imagine someone like me, a young person, going to this country, serving these people I have never met, and really enjoying my time serving. This is a dream of mine. While many others look to careers and other success when they enter college, a dream of mine is to go abroad and visit countries, not the rich, extravagant countries that so many others travel to, but smaller, much more needy countries, and see anything I can do for them. Now imagine. What if by the time that I get to travel and see these countries and, and really enjoy serving these people, what if they're not there? What if those children did not survive because of things like starvation and disease? The question becomes, how, what can we do to prevent problems like these? You see, today we have a huge problem in this world. Our population, especially in countries that are developing, not in countries that already have developed, population is rapidly expanding. The problem is, our food production really isn't by comparison. So what is the solution to this problem? Many people look to solutions such as land, using our land better and more efficiently, utilizing every resource the best way we possibly can. Well, frankly, it's not like we can make more land. I believe the solution to our problem of feeding the world, the growing world, is to use biotechnology. Biotechnology can include everything from genetically modified crops to cloned animals, etc. Some people believe today, after seeing some very strong advances in the field of biotechnology, whether it's disease-resistant crops or better livestock, that many companies that are very big in their market spheres will control too much of that market, will become too big and will abuse the consumer and will make too much money off of their technologies. However, I feel what's important with biotechnology is that it is growing so rapidly that people are starting to really see the vital importance it is. Because frankly, any farmer, agricultural producer, or frankly anyone that eats should recognize the importance of biotechnology. I believe when it comes to business, in fact, that just like Adam Smith, the father of capitalism, wrote in his book, The Wealth of Nations, many times, competition is the key to business success. It helps the consumer. It helps create new ideas and technologies. All around, it's a good idea. So to protect biotechnology and keep it as a good resource, to save our world, and feed all those mounts. We have to train new scientists and new leaders to create the ideas and form companies and employ the world and our country to keep that market competitive, protect the consumer, and when fighting each other as companies in the marketplace, keep the ideas flowing. This, in turn, will keep biotechnology feeding the world instead of feeding the wallets of big companies. This is vitally important because someday, like I said, it's my dream to go out and serve others and help them in any way I can. And I'd, I'd much rather help the world in a world where we can survive and we can feed the world rather than a hopeless world. So thank you very much.